everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing really, really well. For today's video, I'm gonna be doing another styling haul. So I did one a couple of months ago, which I'll link up here for five ways to style faux leather leggings. So I thought I would bring that back today and be doing five styles for leather trousers. Leather trousers are something that I wear so often throughout this period, so I thought it'd be a really nice idea to kind of do a styling video for these, given that I wear them so much. So if that does sound like a bit of you, be sure to give this video a massive thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to check me out over on Instagram. I'll leave my handle up on screen now because that is where I tend to showcase a lot of my like styling tips and how I wear things, etc. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. So just as a disclaimer, the leather trousers that I'm going to be using for all of these outfits in this video today are from Miss Pat. I bought these trousers probably about a year ago and I just love them so much. They fit so well, they're really, really comfortable and I just really like how you can dress them up and dress them down. So yeah, they will be the trousers used throughout all of the outfits in this video. So the first way that I styled my faux leather trousers was with a white crop top and this faux leather gilet. I have worn this gilet so, so much. It's from Zara and this little crop top I got from ASOS. I then just paired it with my Air Force Ones. I feel like this is a really good outfit, more so for like coming into spring. I just feel like a gilet is such a good alternative to a coat. I can't believe how much wear I've actually got out of this so far, um, but I literally pair it with everything. So that is my first outfit that I've paired with my leather trousers. I just think it's a really easy outfit to throw on if you're just running around town or popping to the shops or you know going for a walk, whatever it is. It's a really casual look, but it looks really cool and really effortless. I also like to use a white crop top just to break up the black. And I think it looks cool when your trainers and your tops match. I've always kind of liked that kind of coordination in an outfit. So I like that those pair together. But yeah, this is a super casual, super easy outfit to chuck on. I guarantee that if you have a pair of faux leather trousers, you've definitely got a white t-shirt or a white jumper and you've definitely got a black chalet or a black coat and a pair of white trainers. So that's what I like to do with these videos is use pieces that I know that you'll probably have in your wardrobe and style them up that way rather than you having to go out and buy like lots of new pieces. A lot of these outfits are based on basic pieces. So yeah, this is the first outfit. I'm not gonna lie, I know it's the first, but it probably is one of my faves just because I am quite a casual person, as you can see. So yeah, this is the first outfit. Love this one, and it's just super easy to put together. Next up then, keeping with the white crop top, I've then just thrown this green granddad shirt over the top. Again, I think this looks really, really cool, and it adds a bit of color to the outfit as well, but in a really nice kind of subtle way. This shirt that I have here is from SLA The Label. Everything that I mentioned from today's video will be linked down below. And anything that I've shown you that's slightly older, I'll just link a very, very similar piece in the description box down below. So yeah, this one is from SLA and then obviously just the same crop top from ASOS. I paired this with, again, white Air Force Ones, but I also actually wear this outfit quite a lot with Doc Martens, just because I really like the look of a granddad shirt with chunky boots. Personally, for me, I really like how it kind of pairs together. But yeah, again, this I think is a really nice transitional piece because if you want to throw on a coat over the top, you can. But as we come into the warmer months, I think a shirt like this will kind of do okay if it gets a little bit chilly then you can just chuck this over the top again a really really casual outfit a really easy one to put through i guarantee again that you all have a check shirt in your wardrobe somewhere so this is just a really nice way to kind of style it up and as i said i like to use this green color because i think it really it goes really well with black and it just adds a really nice pop of color to an outfit without having to go like really crazy the next outfit then that I put together of course involved a blazer. I couldn't not do a styling video and not include a blazer just because I feel like you can really wear them with any outfit, like you really can. This blazer that I have here is from Primark. Absolutely love this blazer. Honestly, I forget the 
that I have this just because I wear my black one from H&M so much but I thought that this really adds a nice touch to an outfit and then I just paired it with this black roll neck jumper underneath and my black heeled boots from River Island. This I would typically wear for like a dinner or a nice lunch, something a bit more dressy or you know if you want to wear that shopping like that's totally fine but for me this is more of a like date night evening or like a nice lunch kind of outfit. I also like to wear this kind of like the other way round with a white jumper and a black blazer and then black trousers, black boots. Again, really, really easy outfits to put together, you know, using basics in your wardrobe. But yeah, I really like to pair it with this brown colour just because I really, really like, again, the contrast of all black with a statement blazer on top and then I think it pairs really nicely with like a nude bag and some gold jewellery. So yeah, I absolutely love this. I think they do actually still sell this blazer in Primark. If I'm correct, I think it was about £15 and then it came with matching trousers. So yeah, I won't be able to link this down below but they do still have it in Primark, I'm 100% sure of it. Um, and I just really like the contrast as I said. I like a statement blazer. Again, this is probably one of my favourites just because I love blazers so much. I love what they can do to an outfit. So I think if you don't have a blazer in your wardrobe, it's never too late. You can wear them throughout the whole of the year. So it's definitely worth investing in a blazer and a pair of leather trousers. My fourth outfit then that I put together with my leather trousers was with this little top. Now, even for me, this top is quite like out there for me, but I think it's so, so pretty. And with black trousers again, it just looks so, so nice. So again, I just paired this on its own with the leather trousers and again, my painted boots from River Island. And then if it was cold, I would just chuck a black blazer on over the top or even a white blazer to be honest. I think that could look quite nice, but I just really, really like the look of lace with leather. I don't know whether that's just me, but little tops like this with leather trousers or even leather leggings, I just think looks so, so like smart. It looks really, really classy and I just really like it. This little top is actually from H&M. It's in their like lingerie section. So again, this is something you can wear underneath the blazer or you can wear it on its own or you can wear it as a bra under just like a regular outfit. So they're really versatile tops and obviously you can do a lot with them. But as I said, the lace and the leather, I just think looks really nice. It's quite a sexy outfit to wear as well. So again, great for like date nights or dinners and things like that. And again, a really, really easy outfit to put together. All black, so you can't go wrong. And then you can kind of like mix it up then with your accessories. You can add a red lip and make it a bit more sexy. With Valentine's Day coming up as well, I think this would be a really, really nice outfit to go for. So yeah, this was a little bit out of my comfort zone. Actually, when I put the outfit together, I absolutely loved it. So yeah, this, yeah, this was a bit out there for me, but I actually really, really liked how it came out. The fifth and final way then that I styled my leather trousers was with, again, the white crop top or a white bodysuit. My bodysuits are in the wash at the moment, hence why they aren't in this video. But that's how I tend to pair this coat with my leather trousers is with my white bodysuit from Zara. As it's in the wash, I'm just using my white crop top again from ASOS. And then my nude trench coat then from Zara. I feel like neutrals with a black pair of trousers is again such an easy fit and so so cool i absolutely love it i then paired it with my nude chunky boots from uh, pretty little thing and it just ties together really well chuck a nude bag on you're good to go but i think neutrals and black just really really go and i have a lot of neutral items in my wardrobe and i feel like you can really throw them on with anything especially black faux leather trousers so yeah again this is probably one i would wear to go like shopping or like out with the girls for like a bit of a day, like quite a nice casual outfit, but when you chuck the coat on, it makes it look like a bit more something, if you get what I mean. So yeah, I really, really like this outfit. Again, you can kind of transition this throughout the warmer months and just change up the coat for maybe something not as heavy, like heavy duty. Um, but yeah, I just really, really like how this came together. As I said, with a nude bag and some gold accessories, you would be good to go. Okay, so that is everything for this video today. They are the five ways that I style my faux leather leggings. Please let me know down below in the comments which one was your favourite. And also let me know if you want me to do any other styling videos. I would love to know. Uh, 
but yeah I really hope you enjoyed this video before you go don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up and subscribe down below but that is it from me I really really hope that you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all very soon with a brand new one bye